Hello everybody and welcome to the channel. It's Paul Yester here and Dead by Daylight's new chapter, chapter 32, I believe it is, the Dungeons and Dragons chapter, starring Vecna, the Lich as the Killer, and Estri and Baramar, the Bards, as the Survivors is coming out on Monday, June the 3rd. In fact, Dead by Daylight gave us this little handy-dandy world map to let us know exactly what time it's coming out. Uh, for me, I'm in Eastern Standard Time, so it's coming out 11 a.m. there, just like it is in Montreal. There won't be any live stream prior to the release uh, like they have been having lately. It's just going to come out. So I'll be streaming it on um, on Monday on my Twitch, and I'll have copies of the DLC that I'll be giving away. So I'd love to see you over there on Twitch. You don't have to be a subscriber. You just have to come and sit in attendance, and we'll pick one winner after each match that I play. But today we're going to read about the lore of the Bards. Better to perish with a song on one's lips, eh? Gather round for the fabled tale of Estri and Barmar. All right, so we're going to go over here to the official Dead by Daylight website and read the survivor lore. Estri is our Dead by Daylight survivor lore. Estri and Barmar arrived in the free city of Greyhawk, to trade songs and stories with the locals. But what the bards learned during their visit would set them on their final adventure. According to locals and travelers alike, a new magic unlike any other was spreading across the land. The forces of evil were disappearing from every corner of the land, leaving no trace of their malevolence. There was much rejoicing throughout Greyhawk, but Aestri and Barmar felt differently. A bard's purpose in life was to celebrate triumph over adversity. A world without evil would be a world with no new songs to sing. I don't know about that. Ding Dong, the Witch is Dead got a pretty good ring to it, if you t if you ask me. Anyway, Aestri knew what she had to do. She scoped out the taverns and back alleys of the city, looking for adventurers willing to help her and Barmar find the source of this strange new magic. Many turned her down. Why would she want evil to return to the land? But using her wit and charisma, Aestri was able to inspire enough townsfolk to join her in restoring the balance between good and evil. Together, this ragtag troop of adventurers traveled throughout swamplands and under mountains. They were driven out of towns by those who believed the troop was secretly in league with the evil that had been eradicated. And every so often, folks would be kind enough to provide food, shelter, and, most importantly, information. Barmar eagerly wrote down every clue and rumor they heard and concluded that the source of this strange magic must lie near the kingdom of Kaoland, where people spoke of an ancient tower emerging from its ruins, being instantly rebuilt bigger and stronger than it was before. Their suspicions were confirmed as the troop made their way south. Villagers spoke of the tower and its lord in hushed tones, but Aestri knew the place by its reputation. They were traveling to the rotted tower, the stronghold of the arch-lich Vecna. As they drew closer and closer to the rotted tower, the troop could feel evil magic in the air. They steeled themselves for a fight with Vecna, but were shocked to find the rotted tower was completely empty. They made their way up the spiral staircase, passing window after window of shattered stained glass until they reached the top of the tower, and amidst the debris, Astri found a hastily written scroll. Baramar was eager to show off his proficiency in Arcana. He studied the scroll and realized the words were an incantation written phonetically. He sang the words aloud, and the tower began to rumble. Black fog crept in through the stone floor, and Astri stopped Barmar from his recitation, but it was too late. The fog took hold of the adventurers, and within moments, they were gone. All right, so that is your lore of your survivors. Again, this chapter is coming out on Monday, June the 3rd, and I'd love to see you over there on my Twitch uh, as we check out all the new content together. But that's all I have for you today. As always, thank you so very much for the time you spend here with me on my on my channel. I truly appreciate it. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. It helps the channel a ton. Don't forget to take care of each other in and out of the fog, and we'll see you next time. Have a great day, everybody. Bye-bye. It's a generous life for us. 
It's a Jen Rush life for us. Set a hiding, we do gens. Set a randoms, we got friends. It's a Jen Rush life.